Well, I'm glad everybody was showing their appreciation today because uh, he deserves it. 76 years after his death on the battlefield, a World War II Army veteran is finally home. Army Private First Class Oliver Jeffers of Huntsville was killed in action in Germany's Hurtgen Forest. That was on November 10, 1944. Now, his remains are finally home. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith attended his memorial service in Scott County, where his family says they are glad to finally lay him to rest. On Army Private First Class Oliver Jeffers' 107th birthday. Happy birthday, Oliver Jeffers. He was buried behind the church he grew up in, a church he hadn't been to in nearly 80 years. You're always wondering, you're always getting some kind of scenario that he's going to come home okay. But he never did. Jeffers was killed in battle during World War II in the Hurtgen Forest in Germany. That was the longest battle of the war. Until recently, his family didn't really know what happened to him. His nephew, Basil Massey, said they made up stories to keep hope. My father told me one time, maybe he found a German girl and decided to stay over there. Historians used evidence and DNA analysis to determine a set of unidentified remains recovered from that battlefield belonged to Jeffers. 76 years later, he's home. Men like Oliver Jeffers stood the gap and sacrificed so that we could have a free world today. About 100 people came to the service. But it was bigger than I figured it would be. Governor Bill Lee lowered flags at the Capitol to half staff in Jeffers' honor, who received a full military service. Right. Help me to honor this man right here. Bless him, Lord. Those there showed thanks to Jeffers for paying the Thank ultimate Jeffers. sacrifice. I'm glad it's happened. And uh, I'm glad that uh, he's finally home. In Huntsville, I'm Shannon Smith. Online right now, you can find more stories about veterans in East Tennessee, and that includes veterans recounting memories from war and honoring veterans in their final days. Just search for Service and Sacrifice on WBIR.com.